Look, it was an extremely difficult day. Any time that you know the opposition put on the amount of runs that that they did today for for one wicket, um, it's frustrating. Um, but we know that the the class of of the Sri Lankan batters, uh, and I think they they showed their class today um, on still what is a, a good batting surface. And I think we had hoped that we uh, might have might have got a little bit more on offer for the for the bowlers. But um, credit to the Sri Lankan batters. Um, how they went about it today. They put us under pressure um, from from ball one, really, and uh, they capitalised throughout the day. I think it ultimately it comes down to you know consistency today. Um, I, I don't think we put the ball uh, in the right areas consistently. Um, so you know, I thought I thought Curtis Camphor and, and, and Graham Hume did a did a reasonable job up front. Um, a couple of half chances created, but. We just didn't put the ball consistently in the right areas and, and maintain that pressure. And as I've said previously, the Sri Lankan batters very good at manoeuvring the ball around. And and when we did bowl the bad ball today, it was put away for a boundary, you know, a four or six, and we couldn't really couldn't really build that pressure. Um, but if, if I'm looking at it from you know we two young guys, two young spinners in in Matthew Humphreys and, and Ben White, and I think Matthew's playing his first first class game, which is also a test match. I think Ben White is playing his I think it's third, uh, maybe first class match, which is also three test matches. So it's a, it's a massive learning curve for for these guys against this quality of, of batters on this opposition. And, and looking at the stats, I think that the top six Sri Lankan batters all at goal have fantastic averages, and, and they showed showed that why today. Yeah, if, if I think back to um, to the first test, you know, the guys were saying they thought that there was a little bit of movement on offer for the seam bowlers in the first ten overs. And I think the Sri Lankan bowlers showed that as well. The first 10 overs, I think, are crucial here with with ball in hand. And, and last night, our plan was to try and make them play as, as much as possible and sort of that old-fashioned adage of, of being around the top of off stump and, and not letting them get too many siders and not too many four balls and, and get them off the flyer. Look, I think we, we created a couple of half chances last night, but against this quality opposition, you've got to be in and around your areas. and. If you're missing by a foot, you know, it's width or it's length, it, it's going to go to the boundary. So it just last night, the, the conversations were just to, to try and make them play as many balls as we could in and around the top of the off stump. That's the beauty of, of Test Match Cricket. You know, we've talked about it um, and, and days like that when there's, when there's two big partnerships, you know, you're always trying to tell the lads that when they come in, you know, we can go bang, bang here and get two new batters in. But it's just creating that chance, and look, we had a couple of chances today, and we didn't take them. And on ultimate at this level, you, you've got to take your chances and and get new batters in, and and hopefully you get one to spin out of the rough. For we saw at the end, the ball was actually reverse swinging a little bit for Curtis Camphor, trying to create a couple of a couple of opportunities that way. So, look, if we come back tomorrow, you know the plan will be to try and get a, a couple of early wickets, get two new batters in, and you never know where this test can go.